what's up everyone on YouTube? So today I'm working again on the Nissan 2004 350Z. It has an overheating issue. And let's see if the Think Diag and my phone can help us diagnose this problem. Okay, so let's connect the Think Diag adapter onto the OBD2 port. Okay, so now let's get into the Think Diag app. Make sure that the key is on the on position of the vehicle. Now I'm going to go to VIN scan. Okay, so now it's already in the Nissan software program. They already identified it. The Think Diag already identified the vehicle. So now let's do auto search and system scan or system selection that's what I'm gonna do and this is why I'm gonna go to the ECM I'm gonna confirm I think Diag already connected to the ECM the reason why I want to go to the ECM is because I want to go to the actuation test and you have all these functions so think Diag can give you all these functions to help you diagnose certain um, to help you diagnose the vehicle in this case here, we're having problems with the cooling fan not turning on. So I want to make sure it's the cooling fan motors that are faulty and nothing else. So let's give this a try. Let's go to cooling fan. I'm going to go without monitor. Now that we're in the active test screen, we can now test the fan motors. Now, I've already removed the cover for the IPDM. And these are the relays. These three relays are for the cooling fan. And I want to see if these relays actuate by turning on the fans. Okay, that buzzing sound is the key on the on position. So ignore that. So what I want to do, I want to place my three fingers, each finger on each relay, so I can feel the relays enga engaging when I turn the fan on. So I chose high, this one clicked right here, and it's working. However, the fan's not kicking in. That's a problem. Now let's do the low side. That's this one right here in the middle. And I actually felt them on both of them down there at the bottom. So the relays are actuating properly. So they're pretty good. So that tells me that the ECM is able to send power and engage or activate the relays for the fan but the fans not working now we can go a little bit further and check to see if we have power at the plugs at the cooling fan okay take a look at the multimeter it's at zero so no power to the fan at the moment I've already unplugged the, both of the fans and I'm off right here on this side on the on the thing diag side so let's turn on the high position And there we go, we got power. That means that the relay to the fan is working properly. No wiring issues on the positive side. Everything's good. Okay, so I already switched the pin to the other positive circuit that pertains to the low side of the fan on this side. So I forgot to mention on this side of the fan, there's two of them. So one here and one here. So I'm doing the one on the passenger side. So now I'm going to turn on the low position of the fan. Notice the multimeter is close to zero. And now we have power. So that means that the low side circuit on the positive side from the cooling fan relays to the fan are in good shape. So we're good to go there. Okay, so this is the plug for the cooling fan on the passenger side. Uh, right now, I can't give you access to the driver's side right now. I'm just trying to do my best to give you the best footage. But the plug is still the same. And also, what I'm going to talk about will also be the same. So, in this case here, this is the tab side of the plug up here. And if you're looking at it facing you, these two top cavities here or openings or connections are or the female connector 
uh, these are the positives. So this is for the high side, right here, and this is for the low side. Now, I'm using a fabric needle to place it inside there so I can check power because my leads are too big and I don't want to damage the plug. Okay, so one more time. High side power and low side power here. And it's the same positions on the other plug pertaining to the driver's side cooling fan. The new radiator fan assembly is already installed. Let's test it out with Think Dia. High speed. Low speed. And I turned it off already. So everything's working great. So I think this Think Dia can help out a lot of people. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any comments or have any questions, please write them down below. I'll get to them as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button. See you later.